Well, we're on a roll. This is Michelle, and this is Quarantine Crafting number three. Uh, so I'm going to continue on. Uh, this is my third envelope journal that I have made following um, Barbara, who's 49 Dragonflies. And this one was made with three five and a half by five and a half envelopes and one wine bag. So I'll show you that when we get in there. But it's just fun being able to take something that normally would go in the trash bin and uh, creating something beautiful out of it. Now, the wine bag is recycled. I have to admit, the envelopes came in a package, so they were not, <laughs> they were not trash and they were definitely not junk mail. Um, so let me, let's look at this one. This again was made with using Tim Holtz Wallflower. Uh, that was the inspiration. So very botanically uh, based journal. Here I've got one of the die cuts, cut, um, die cuts distressed on the front, as well as a button on the flap as the closure. And I have one of my Wendy coin collector embellishments up here in the corner and it's just on with a jump ring and a piece of ribbon and the lace here is hiding the pamphlet stitch there's two different journals in here and they're uh, pamphlet stitched into the spine that uh, was made with the journals and here's the back and thank you Michelle Fields who is Country Morning Creations she says the back should always look as pretty as the front so there's that. Okay, so let's get into this quick share. Um, simple, uh, just some jute, or I guess this is twine, string, whatever, but you get the idea. So that's on the front, and it just wraps all the way around. You can see that's the envelope, flap of the envelope, and the button was in there, and then I just put a, a round circle punch to cover up the stitching of the button. So when you open it up on the inside flap here in this first envelope pocket there is a small journal and this is just made up with some a variety of just paper sheets. Kind of like a little note taking, list making. There. And then um, the next section that we have is the actual wine bag. And so it's held together with some of this green seam binding. And there's some bells on the outside. I don't know why I like bells so much, guys. But anyway. So it opens up like this. And you really needed it because this became an alligator mouth. Oh, I neglected to show you here is one of my... Um, this is a K-cup filter. A coffee filter and it's been decorated with some lace and then one of the small uh, tattered floral die cuts and French knots in the center and then just a tag in there. So when you open this up, the first thing you have is you've got the ins the bag open, op the bag opening, whatever, you know what I mean. And there are some of the I guess these are like the ATCs from Tim Holtz. You know, on the back, they have the different sizes, and all you have to do is cut them out, round the corners, and voila, you've got some instant journal cards. So those were just tucked in the mouth of the wine bag. Mm -hmm. And um, on the first flap, everything's been covered with this beautiful music paper here. And on the first uh, flap here, you've got a glassine bag, and it's just got a little bit of decorator lace on it as well as a tag that's been distressed and stenciled and then another one of the Tim Holtz wallflower cards journaling cards so then when you open this up here so this way you can see the full size of the wine bag here let me hold it back like that so that's the wine bag and inside here is a small journal um, this is a piece of wallflower, the vellum set wall, and all that's in here are different various papers, and they've been stenciled and um, distressed. So, definitely for taking notes, 
like I said, different papers, some um, dotted paper, some primary paper, a couple of pieces from a collection, some music paper. This is the center of the signature and um, just some music paper flipped up to make a pocket. There's some, actually did some stitching too, wow. And then just with some journaling cards um, in the pockets there. So there's that little journal. I'm sorry, this is huge, guys. And so then on the back of the, um, the back flap of the wine bag, uh, here is one of my coffee filter pockets. And it's been decorated with the, there's a new tattered floral, the mini tattered floral uh, die. I love that die because I have one of the small, I actually have my daughter's cuddle bug, which is a die cutting machine, but it's really tiny. And so this, the, the thinlets work really well in it. So this is one of the new thinlets, the small, and all of the flowers have been, um, have French knots as the centers. And there's just some journaling cards there, but that way, this way you can see that coffee filter and so just a couple of miscellaneous cards in there and so then that closes and on this um, envelope there's nothing in it. it's just very sturdy I've got another one of my coffee filter this is an envelope shaped um, and there's a large tatter floral with some eyelash trim and flowers and a bead in the center and again, some journaling cards here. This is very, it's pretty, it's grungy. I think that, you know, Tim holds, that's totally Tim. And so then here we've got a coin envelope and it's a flip up, but there's also a tag that comes out here. And there's room here for pictures or writing. And then this is the second journal and this is all craft paper. And um, it's various sizes, but they've just been stenciled and uh, distressed with probably vintage photo. And center of the signature has some floating birds. Yeah. And then here is the back flap. And this envelope is just still, this pocket is open. And um, here is one of my tattered floral paper clips embellishments just back here um, there we go wanted it because I like the little fringe up top so yeah so there you have it again this was totally inspired by Barbara who is 49 dragonflies um, it's fun watching Barbara you know some of the things that she creates I think as embellishments um, I'm a journaler so I don't like a whole lot of stuff, but it they just makes it, it really does add uh, to the journal when you do, um, you know, add pockets and tuck spots and um, interactive pages. So there we have it. Um, oops, I didn't put this back. There we go. Let me close this up. And let me see how we're doing on time. I'm trying to tell you guys, I have been crafting up a storm. Not because I haven't been going to work every day, but because I just it just really calms me down. Okay, let's show you this one. So while we're at it, this is a altered Dollar Tree book. Um, I purchased this 100% because of the color of the book. It's a mallard blue. And I had purchased from Luna Razu and... Amity Bloom, uh, two of their collections that focused on blues and um, topes. And so I have taken one of the pages from the collections and have Mod Podged it onto the front cover, put some um, of those oh, tulle flowers, and then there's lace. The lace is hiding the pamphlet stitch um, in there. And then here's the back which is another piece of the collections and then has my label on the back love this i don't normally work in blues but this is just gorgeous just gorgeous so i've got just some ribbon um, eyelet closure with some ribbon and um, the pages in here are mostly coffee dyed and the collection 
and they've all been stenciled as well as distressed. So on this front cover here, uh, this is one of the things that I made using Eva, one of her tutorials. This is one of her um, pockets. Uh, when you pull down here, the folks move and it leaves you with a hidden journaling spot. Now y'all know that's cool. That is, that's cool right there. Look at that. And it hides and they flop, they go back down. That Eva's a genius. Wait, let me do that again. Y'all know that's, that's, that's incredible. And then there's a journaling spot. Okay. Alrighty, I'll stop playing now. Watch it not go back in. Oh, there we go. Okay. So up top I've made a, um, there's a, just, this was just me decorating the pocket. And so there's some tool, there's some lace. Uh, I have one of my little discs that's got flowers in it. Just really pretty. And then up top here, uh, just some, of uh, uh, these are Amity Blooms journaling cards. And this is just one from Wallflower that I shaped into a tag. The Tim Holtz Wallflower. So again, it's a, it's a combination of Luna Rosu's blue uh, papers and amity blooms so i've got the this book this book belongs to and then um yeah so let's keep going this one's amity bloom some coffee dyed just gorgeous the co the colors in this are just phenomenal um here's one of my little tiny um k-cup filter Tuck spots. Center of the signature. We got some floating butterflies. So it's just collection. So definitely for writing. Um, I have someone in mind for this. A uh, young lady who just found out she is. She and her husband are expecting. So I think this will be a fun for them. Here is a coffee filter. Tuck spot. Sorry, y'all. I hope you can see top spot here. And let me hold it. There we go. Sorry. You may not have seen any of that first whole part. Well, we'll find out, won't we? Here's another one of my tuck coffee filters uh, with the tattered. This is the large tattered floral. And then just some more pieces again, um, mostly from Amity Bloom's uh, ephemera collection. There's a pocket that I made. This is one of um, Patricia Viramonte's uh, inspired uh, book book page. And then there's just, a, this is a Tim Holtz uh, die cut and a paper doll. And then I just have cut some butterflies and some lace. And this is a gusseted pocket, so it holds a lot. And there's more um, ephemera in here from Amity Bloom, just some journaling cards, all of which have been distressed and stenciled. Yeah, so that's another stencil and just the collection. This has three signatures in it. Just gorgeous. These blues are so pretty. I don't know if my showing was doing justice. Here's just a quick little, um, just a little lace embellishment with a pen and same thing on the other side it's another piece it's another one of my k-cup filter tuck spots with some little journaling cards little journaling spots uh, here's a vellum bag here with a tag and two of uh, the Tim Holtz paper dolls with some blue flowers from, uh, I think those are daisies, blue flowers. I don't think those are Tim's, I think those are daisies. Daisy Tsunami Rose. And more butterflies floating in the center. Another one of Patricia's pockets. Um, tuck spot, and then here I have my own little uh, butterfly clip. 
so it'll clip anywhere. It's just two butterflies and you put them together. But the way that it's done, it comes out like a, a little paper clip. Clip it on something like that. Bookmarker. And on the back, another, um, I'm not sure who I was following when I did this one. Uh, this is definitely a coffee stained book page, but it was something with using washi tape because I, there's lots of, there's all kinds of washi and flowers. These are all Tsunami Rose flowers though, and that, that I know. And then just some journaling pages in here. I think these are Amity Bloom. Go. And then in the back pocket. And this is what I've done. The lead page, uh, with, when I take these books from the um, Dollar Tree and, and gut them, I usually move that lead page over to create a pocket. And that also makes it smooth in the seam there. And so then here is a Tim Holtz. You open it up. And it's pockets with some more ephemera. And that goes in the pocket that you make with your lead page from your book. So there we have it, y'all. I'm going to look at this and see if it looks like anything. I'm not sure if I did a good job showing this. I wasn't sure where I needed to be on the camera. But I uh, just want to thank you for checking it out. Hope everyone is well. And happy crafting. It's Michelle. See you later. Bye.